Welcome to my channel. I'm doing this series of clips about artificial intelligence and physics and you might ask the question why I'm doing that at all. I have a certain interest in the field. I did a PhD some 25 years ago in neural networks and of course I have read Bostrom's book about superintelligence and was amazed by the success of DeepMind beating the best Go in chess players in the world. But that's not the reason at the end. You still might object, okay, uh, can a machine be ever intelligent? We are humans, we are animated, we have consciousness. I'm not so sure. From a general perspective, I'm skeptical, very skeptical towards proofs of non-existence because Lord Kelvin thought that bodies would never fly at Poincaré demonstrated that there would be never transatlantic radio uh, transmission and John von Neumann, one of the brightest guys in history, he proved that there would be no hidden variables in quantum mechanics. Wrong. So very generally I don't believe these proofs. That's, that will never be possible. Okay. And I also think that we have pretty much understood something about how our brain works. There is Hebb's rule that states if you have two neurons firing, the synapse connecting these two neurons will be enhanced and that's what you can basically realize in a computer model. All these things are long discovered and of course just now at the moment we have reached the level of 10 to the 10 neurons in our brain connected to 10 to the 14 synapses. I mean just the amount of this hardware we, are, we have reached in recent times and that's why I think this this progress is possible. At the very end I guess yes the human thinking, the human brain is also just an algorithm. You may like that or not. So and then now ChatGPT 4 and the large language models come along and have this tremendous capabilities and still people are saying oh they're just computing the probability of the next word but I think this is downplaying the real capacities. Forgot to give you an example here. I grabbed from the internet an image file with Maxwell's equations and fed it to ChatGPT4 and actually came up, yeah, these are Maxwell's equations. So as a matter of principle, I think these models can understand pictures and diagrams in text and incorporate it into their knowledge. Yeah, even from a very complicated formula of vector analysis, the model recognized the context. So these models are very capital and I guess to a certain degree they have acquired pretty much of that ability to properly understand what they're talking about. And I mean, of course there are unsolved things. There are critics like Jan Lekun who recently said that okay, only part of the intelligence is contained in language. What you lack is maybe a training, a contact with reality. Babies are experiencing or exploring the real world. All this computer doesn't have. Okay, but what you could try is just to feed a computer with video sequences. He objects that this is very difficult and very hard to do. Still it might be possible that it's hard to do, but at the very end I don't see a principal hurdle to overcome here. I mean, of course, the human brain does a fantastic job in extracting the relevant information out of this stream of visual information, which constitutes more than 90%, I guess, of, of the content of our memory. But still, at the end, the neurons and the synapses, they work all alike. So I don't see that principal impossibility. And then you can also modify the model going away from that probability and let the model first think internally. This is done recently now with this energy function where a model before responding explores whether an answer is good or not. And then of course another possibility would just be if you don't want to feed a computer with real data, with real videos of balls jump, bumping on a table for example, you can also feed it with planetary data and Keplerian orbits, why shouldn't a model not be able to deduce Kepler's law from this? So I guess this is definitely becoming interesting also for fundamental physics. And of course, I mean, if you think about theories of everything, I mean, I have video videos made about how we should approach that problem. But 
if you enter really new territory okay that will be difficult for a computer but it's difficult for us humans as well because if we for example think about replacing space-time by unit quaternions or whatever different mathematical manifold and you have to rewrite the whole law of physical laws that's new territory also for the human mind and any artificial intelligence would certainly take its time to arrive there but it's not impossible and that is the reason why I think it's worth that we are dealing with this very interesting development. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel.